Hello Virgo, welcome to your He Said, She Said reading. This is for the time period November 11th through 25th, 2018. Thank you for joining us. Say hello to Richard. Hello Virgo. Uh, these readings differ from my usual uh, readings that I do by myself because we have Richard here providing the, the male uh, uh, He Said version. So uh, let's get started. Let's take a look at your Oracle of Mystical Moments. You've pulled the card of Abracadabra. So Abracadabra speaks to magic, secrets, patterns and destiny. Rising from a kingdom of skyscrapers, a giant woman glows in the cityscape. She is so tall she can touch the stars all around her. With her magic wand she coaxes the future from constellations. There is such order in the universe, in the golden ratio of a nautilus shell or patterns of a starry night. We can unlock the secrets of the universe. We are all the magicians of our own lives. And uh, it's interesting because from Shadows and Light you've pulled the card of Sea Storm, which is about calm and chaos. Now with this one, you, you may feel like you're surrounded by chaos, by storms, wild moments, perhaps even a great deal of emotional drama. The world you know may be changing. Uh, there is destruction behind you and you have left it in the past, but you are still searching for your new home. The message here is that you'll find it if you turn inwards and listen to your inner knowledge that will send you in the right direction. So very much an energy here of uh, the shapeshifter. With the, with the magician energy of Abracadabra, it's about building a new life for yourself, uh, creating something here, making it through a time where you feel perhaps that you are searching for a home and with no apparent rescue, but trusting that you'll be able to make it and also trusting that you have the all of the skills necessary to do this for yourself without wanting a rescue from the storm is kind of what uh, the energy that I'm getting with this one. You're the, you're the captain of your own ship. The, there you uh, go. You're there the, you go. The purveyor of your own destiny. Let's take a look and see. I've already meditated on your energy, Virgo. So let's cut these cards and focus in on the energy of the person that you are thinking about here, Virgo what they bring to the table when it comes to you, their flaw, how they feel about you, how you feel about them, the strengths of your relationship, the weaknesses of the relationship, the potential for a healthy relationship crossed by any roadblock, and the outcome. Okay. And remember the energies can be vice versa here, so keep that in mind. Virgo, let's take a look and see what the energy is of the person that you're thinking about. Page of Swords in Reverse. So you may feel like they're not being truthful, or you may feel like they're being deceitful, or it's possible that they are just, maybe uh, may maybe they've spoken too harshly to you. Let's take a look and see what they bring to the table when it comes to you. The Ace of Swords. Mm. So it's, it's kind of interesting. Truth, I get it as truth. truth but, but maybe the truth hurts. The truth hurts, yeah. Mm. Mm. A little bit of tough energy here. Let's see what the floor is. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, so it's, a, it's kind of like a... Uh, I get an energy of your life being turned upside down. Mm. Uh, the... Uh, what you thought was stable and secure is, is not as... Not, not really so. Yeah, it, it may be about um, divorce splitting up of uh, finances, something that you thought was going to give you that stability, that uh, retirement, uh, something that you can live on, that soft place to land kind of energy may be taking, you feel like something has been taken from you, is the energy that I'm getting with that page of swords in reverse, possibly from a message that was delivered that may have been hard to hear but, but there was truth in the message. It, it's also possible that the, the message was not delivered in a way that was ideal. Yep. Let's take a look and see how this person is viewing you Virgo. Yeah, the Six of Cups in Reverse. Uh, this may be something that was long-standing, 
there's history but with the six of cups in reverse it, it speaks of letting something go uh, it, it is about letting the past go there's an element of this of well, it, it's all, you, you carry on Richard I get release release yeah, yeah. you know I see the, these figures and, and uh, you know it, it's almost an energy here of a gift but it doesn't it's a gift that doesn't really it's not really taken as a gift initially but it, mm. it kind of is yeah let's take a look and, and see what uh, your view how you're viewing them virgo the hanged man in reverse okay mm. well with this one it, it's an energy of stagnation yeah not not um sacrificing something that needs to be sacrificed or let go of yeah i, I get an energy here that this is a this is a partnership that has already broken up Mm, broken apart. Mm. I think one person's already let things go and the other person hasn't hasn't quite let things go at this point. Yeah, still a stuck energy. And you know, the, the thing with the hangman is that, that there can't be movement until things are seen from a, a different way. And it's about acceptance, surrender, when it comes to, to change. And if there's resistance to change, I feel Virgo, this is what keeps us stuck. And I can't help but think it has something to do with someone releasing the past of the other one, not so much. It's, it's very much here after an ending, holding on to the chaotic feeling of the ending. Even though it's very clear from the Ace of Swords that this ending has happened. Yeah. And it's it's very clear. There's no doubt about it. Yeah, there, there's clarity here. There's a choice. There's a decision that was made. And because the Ace of Swords is in the upright, it seems like it was the right decision as well. Possibly for both of you. Let's look at the strength. Okay, the Empress card. So it's quite possible that, that you had built a life together. Yeah. And, and it was uh, at, at least a, a life that was, that was stable and, and served, pro probably served you quite well. Yeah, it's an energy of... Satisfaction with what you have. Yeah, abundance, mm. uh, creation. For some of you, not all of you, it may have involved motherhood or uh, certainly a feeling of that nurturing you may have felt nurtured or you may have nurtured a situation that can go both ways but it is about more so than anything that feeling of having everything that you need around you but th this is i feel what was the strength i don't see this as the strength anymore but i do see it as a strength that that was uh, present in the past now the weakness is the two of cups in reverse here. Yeah. So this is no longer a partnership. Yeah, no, the, um, there's been a, a, a disconnect. Yeah. Definitely between the, the two, two parties here. I get the sense here with, with Sea Storm that, that we're talking about a person here, Virgo, it's either you or the other way around that is still dealing with the chaos after the breaking up of something that was you thought was stable yeah you, you definitely considered it to be uh, lifelong yeah stable, but it just hasn't turned out that way let's look at the potential now we've got the ace of cups the roadblock is the four of swords okay well i think that's fairly clear yeah the ace of cups is new love yeah and it, you, you there's a potential for that to occur now mm -hmm. and now that this is over there's a there's a potential for you to find something that is uh, is going to be um, perhaps even better than what you what you thought you had previously and four of swords just means that in order to obtain that you, that you need to undergo some healing yeah still healing at the present time let's take a look at the uh, the outcome king of wands in reverse okay 
Well, this may be someone who is potentially around you, uh, possibly, uh, for some of you Virgos. It could be a fire sign, male or female. Uh, the energy around this is that perhaps this person is... You know, I don't, I don't think. I'm trying to determine if this is a past person or a new person. I want to get a, a card. What does this King of Wands in reverse? This will give us an idea. Five of Swords. Okay, I think it might be an energy of a past person. It, it may have been a fire sign or someone who was just acting like the King of Wands in reverse. And with the Five of Swords, it suggests that there's an energy here of feeling defeated by a situation you may for some of you be still harboring a lot of anger and possibly some resentment resentment i get the king of wands in reverse a lot as anger there's mm, you know the five of swords is difficult energy because it, it can means so many different things in, in different circumstances but but for you I pick it up as anger I think anger at having felt defeated defeated and, and having to walk away from a situation that you didn't want to walk away from yeah but the potential there is for you to have new love in the future even though it may not be around you at the present time you know, I'm getting the King of Wands in reverse as actually being your energy. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right about that, Richard. Male or female? Yeah. I don't think this is... Um, at first I thought, well, maybe this is someone new. Yeah. yeah. Um, now... If this is resonating, yeah. then, and you're in a situation where you were in a relationship mm. that you thought was going to go the distance, I think there's a, a lot of anger that it hasn't, that it hasn't turned out that way. Yeah. And I think some of you may still be holding on to something that you shouldn't be holding on to. Yeah. Yeah, it's not a person. It, it's definitely you. It, it's you feeling that you've had to, you've been rejected, you've had to... Um, well, you've been left out in the cold. You've been left out of a situation. For most of it will be about a relationship I feel with that Ace of Cups. For others, it will it may be about a friendship, something that you thought had potential for for growth, for uh, prosperity, but but hasn't worked out. It, it's definitely about a breakup. But I, I see that that what's blocking your potential for new love is you're still healing and hanging up, and still hanging on to the energy. Uh, you feel that your life has been thrown into chaos. Yeah. But there's potential for calmness, and that's the message that I'm getting very strongly here. If you take... Well, you have to take control of your life. Take control of your own life here and, and be the magician. Recognise your own self-worth, your own talents to bring about change in your life. If you don't like the chaos or feeling of, of, of chaotic energy around you, you have the potential to change this within you. Yeah, I think there's been... an ignoring mm. of, of your potential to actually be the be the captain of your own ship yeah you may have um even for some of you you may have felt like in you were in need of rescue wanting someone to rescue you for some of you but i feel the realization here is that you can't you can't expect rescue because uh, that kind of uh, feeling is long gone, especially if I'm talking to a woman here. Instead, it's about creating the life for yourself. Because the energy that I'm picking up here is if you have calmness within and if you feel that peace within, then circumstances that are thrust upon us don't affect us as as so dramatically and I hope that you know what I mean by that 
it's not allowing external circumstances or what happens to us affect us so wildly or so badly if we have that inner peace already and I feel that that's the energy here is that need to get some some peace back in your life a feeling of calmness so that you can not be so not feeling like your life has been put into chaos by a breakup yeah if it's got to be less reliance on external circumstances yes yes and certainly less reliance on the feeling well maybe maybe i'll be lucky enough to to have something fall in my lap yeah i think that's the kind of energy i'm getting i i feel like there needs to be a realization that the strength has got to come then the change has got to come from you yeah. and and the good news here though is that you have the tools mm. necessary in order to make that happen you're not just some cork that's floating on the ocean right uh, you know the the will and the whims of the waves you have right. control yeah over your own life and there has to be a willingness to surrender to circumstances that have happened in the past instead of holding on to it or fighting it resisting the change it's letting it happen but it's letting it with the with the spirit of peace within so that it's not affecting you so greatly that it throws your entire world into chaos it's it's getting that stability for yourself recognizing with the empress there that you can create this life for yourself you don't need another person in your life to to make you feel that sense of abundance or stability it's about creating that for yourself and that way if something does come up into your life and that it's a negative outcome it won't affect you as greatly that's not to say that you won't find somebody and uh, generally speaking mm. it, it's happened throughout history is that it's it's when people give up the the looking for somebody else that they tend to find somebody else it's just one of those uh, one of those things i know you've probably heard it a million times before but yeah That's but it, it, it's 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 a willingness to surrender to the circumstances but looking at it a different way and instead of thinking of perhaps vict victimization or that oh this has happened to me and it's thrown my life into chaos it's taking it as a it's it's surrendering to the circumstances and and re refocusing your energy on providing this for yourself before you go looking for um, or somebody to provide somebody it for to provide it for you yeah I think that's I think it's a good way of looking at it so we'll leave it there for you uh, Virgo and wish you all the very best with this if you would like your own personal he said she said reading you can email me gypsyinsights at gmail.com the cost is $35 for a, a 20 minute reading with both Richard and I I'm also doing year ahead forecasts uh, those are the ones that I do by myself so please email me if you'd like your own 2019 year ahead forecast and I have the general forecasts coming up on YouTube in a few days so please uh, stay tuned for those so wishing you all the best, Virgo. Thanks, Virgo. Goodbye, good luck.